Hi everyone, it's Hanya here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Hanielas, where I share all the things cookie decorating, baking, and recipes. Today, I'm going to show you how to make decorated pickleball cookies. There is no association with pickles whatsoever. Pickleball is basically a hollow plastic ball with holes in it that is used for the game of pickleball. And you can find step-by-step -step tutorial on my blog and also you can get the templates in my template shop. I'm using a three inch cookie and I'm starting with 15 second consistency royal icing. This is a uh, like a neon green. If you don't have neon green food coloring or electric green you can simply color your royal icing with lemon yellow and then add like a tiny tiny amount of leaf green to it and you should be able to get a lovely green now i'm going to switch my my piping bags and i'm gonna use darker green and in the beginning there i use the simple template and an edible marker to trace the outline onto the cookie this way all my cookies are going to be uniformed and this darker green it's also 15 second consistency We're also going to add highlight on the side and for that I will use white royal icing and all of these colors light green dark green and white they all should be about 15 second consistency after this you're gonna have to let the icing dry it's best to let it dry overnight if you don't have that much time um, you could also let it dry until the cookies or the icing is thickly crusted because um, we're going to airbrush and the airbrush has to sit on top of the icing snugly it, there is there shouldn't be a gap between the two so ideally you want to have icing that is crusted and you can airbrush if you haven't already don't forget to join my mailing list and you'll get updates about new tutorials classes products and live stream reminders to make the stencils i use the mylar material i traced the outline onto the stents onto the mylar i taped over it with a shipping tape so i don't smudge the design and then i cut it out with an exacto knife you're going to need two stencils one is with holes and one is with crescent like the one you see on the screen and to hold the stencil in place you can use um, stencil holder like this green stencil holder I have here or you can also use magnets if you don't have a fancy tool like this magnets work really well as well so I'm gonna go ahead and get my airbrush ready and I'm going to use leaf green and lemon yellow airbrush colors just a little bit of leaf green and about three drops of lemon yellow so one drop of leaf green and about three to four drops of lemon yellow and then i'm just going to test it on a paper towel until this nice green is coming out now i'm going to place my stencil on top of the cookie here and check if there are any gaps between the stencil and the cookie and if there is a gap you can use your scribe to hold it in place as you're airbrushing so it doesn't um, doesn't move and you're not going to have overspray. When you're airbrushing, it's better to do several light coats instead of a heavy coat. So you can go around a few times, lightly airbrushing all the holes. And after you're done with this step, just lift it up. And you can see it's a bit shiny, so I'm going to let it be for several minutes and then we can do the second second layer but um, let's do another one you can position it on your cookie and then with the airbrush airbrush all the holes with the green airbrush color if you don't have a yellow airbrush color just go ahead and use the, the leaf green you don't have to mix it but i think like mixing it really um makes the color more vibrant and uh, neon-like. All right, so once you hit all the holes, you can remove it. 
and washing these um, stencils it's uh, really it's a breeze you can just wash them underwater and I'll show you in a second you see how shiny that is so you want to wait for it to kind of dry a little bit five ten minutes and then you can airbrush the second layer so I'm going to wash the stencil under warm water the color comes off and then you can uh, let it air dry or if you need to use it right away you can dry it just bed dry it with a kitchen towel or a paper towel okay now we're gonna be ready to do the second coat and that second coat is really going to bring these pickleball cookies to life so this is the smaller stencil you see the small crescent so you need to align this stencil with the previous design so make sure that you make a note of it where how you stencil so I used my highlight for the guide so highlight was always facing the same direction so that's how I know where to put the stencil and make sure that it's aligned with the previous design. So now I'm using black airbrush color. I clean my, my airbrush gun and I put a few drops of black airbrush color in and I'm doing several coats over each crescent shape. Okay, and now let's see what it looks like. Ta-da! I think it looks pretty cool. And let's do another one. Make sure it's aligned. And then again, go around with the airbrush, hitting each crescent few times. Avoid using heavy coats. Go light on a trigger. And after you're done airbrushing, make sure that you clean the airbrush before you store it. Because once it's clogged, you're going to have to disassemble the whole thing and um, soak it in water so the color dissolves. And that's how you can make these vibrant neon pickleball cookies. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button and also if you like this tutorial give me thumbs up and i will see you next time